Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Mauricio. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I drink coffee every day. debemos tener en cuenta es que para la conjugación de la Dejamos algunos ejercicios para que practiques el presente simple. Si no sabes cómo hacer oraciones negativas. Okay, everybody, welcome to your class number eight. We are going to start in this very moment. Welcome. I hope everybody is okay now. And we want to start by doing our um, a custom feedback, All right? So we want to go back. To the last class, what were we studying? Who remembers? Use the time expression. Time expressions, very good. Mm -hmm.
what else were we studying? Do you remember that when we want to express how frequently we do an activity, we have a set of words that are called adverbs of frequency. Do you remember? Hello, Jose Bernardo, good evening, welcome. So we were studying the adverbs of frequency and there is a way to ask um, that information, right? We need to know how to request for that information. And remember that the... Um... Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, Vladimir. The, ex the question expression is how often? How often? That was what we were studying, right? How often something, something happens. So now we are going to continue about uh, studying just a little about that. And we are going to finish that topic, but we are going to enable that um, topic with the next topic. We have these other topic, it's related to the simple present, but we are going to continue. So allow me to introduce the class because to, tonight we have a new topic, but we are going to do our feedback, all right? And let's start by saying that today we want to talk about everyday tasks. We want to speak about everyday tasks. What do you think? Is it a difference between task, activity, or action? What do you think? Is there a difference between those words? Tasks, activities, actions, What idea do you have when someone talk about tasks? Do you know what that what does task mean? Task? Well, yes. Yes, that's correct. So if it is that, uh, the ambience or the context where we use it could be at home where we have some home tasks or at the office where we have some tasks, right? We have activities at home too. We have actions at home too, but tasks is more related to things that we do every day and it's our responsibility. It's not just an activity, it's our responsibility. You have to accomplish with something that you are hired for, or maybe is the role that you develop in your house. For example, the tasks from a husband or the tasks from a wife, right? So they are responsibilities and things that are um, inherent to the person who is in charge of doing that activity, right? That task. All right, then um, we want to go back just in time to yesterday. And uh, we want to practice just a little bit this question we were studying, okay? How often do you, what activity do you think is this? Is this a task? No, right? It's an activity. It's an action. Ajá. ¿Cómo sería esta actividad o esta acción? A ver, alguien complétenme la pregunta. How often do you eat pupusas? Yes. Ajá. Are you hungry? Yeah, they seem delicious, right? Yay, tempting. All right, how often do you? Mm -hmm. All right. A ver, uh, I'm going to ask the first time 
And the person who answers is going to choose another classmate and ask the same question to give a different answer, right? Or their own information. So, Jose Bernardo, how often do you eat pupusas? I sometimes eat pupusas on weekends. All right. This is what you are reading. Uh, but about your own information? Yeah, it's my <laughs> own information. <laughs> uh, so you're my team. All right, you're my team. So now Jose Bernardo, choose another classmate and ask that same question. Okay, uh, Karen? Karen? Yes, teacher. Jose Bernardo is going to ask a question, all right? So listen to Jose Bernardo. Hey, Karen, how often do you eat pupusas? I sometimes eat pupusas on weekend. All right, is that your own information? For real, Karen? Yes. <laughs> okay, yay, yeah. All right, now Karen, please ask to another classmate the same question. Uh, okay. And Daisy. Hi. Daisy, Hi. how often do you eat pupusas? I uh, sometimes one or uh, one um, month. Once a one month? Yes, yes, teacher. All right, all right, then once a month. Now, Daisy, you have to ask the same question to another classmate. Um Bernardo? Bernardo ya participó. A ver, another classmate. One moment. Right. Um, Mauricio? Hi. Hello, Mauricio. Hello, hello. Um, uh, question. When, when often do you eat pupusas? I sometimes eat pupusas on weekends. All right. Okay, <laughs> Daisy, la expresión del principio es how often. A ver, digamos how la junta. Yes, how often. How, how often do you eat pupusas? How often eat, do you do you eat pupusas? Yes, there you go. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, so now we Thank you. All right, Daisy. Then we continue with the uh, the next question. All right. So who wants to complete the question? How often do you visit? The doctor. How often do you visit the doctor? Mm, very good, Mauricio. Please choose a classmate, Mauricio, and ask the question. Uh, uh, Karen? Karen? Yes. How often do you visit the doctor? Um... Maybe once a once a month. Okay. Okay. So I visit the doctor once a month. Okay. I, I visit the doctor, doctor once a month. Once a month. All right. Now, Karen, please ask to another question the same. I'm sorry, to another classmate the same question. Um, Jose Alexander. <laughs> hey, Jose Alexander, how often do you visit the doctor? 
I usually visit the doctor twice a year. All right, for real? Yes, teacher. Okay, now <laughs> please choose another classmate and ask the same question. Um, Pablo Alberto. Hello. Okay. How often do you visit the doctor? I visit the doctor only when I am sick. Very good answer. Yes. All right. Now, please, Pablo, ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Uh, Imelda? How often do you visit the doctor? I visit the doctor. Dr. Seldon. Okay, let's remember where we place the adverb of frequency. I seldom visit the doctor. I, I seldom visit the doctor. I seldom visit the doctor. All right, thank you, Melda. Now you ask the question to another classmate. Um, Hi, Emerson. Uh, how, 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 how often visit the doctor? I really, I visit the doctor. All right, very good. A ver, eh, Imelda, let's refine the pronunciation. How often do you visit the doctor? How often? Do you visit the doctor? Can you repeat it, please, Imelda? How often do you visit the doctor? Yes, there you go. Thank you very much. Now we are going to change the question. Emerson, please ask the question to a classmate. It's a different question. Okay. Uh, y, sí, Norma Patricia. How often do you visit the doctor? Uh, no, 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 it's a different question. It's a different question. Look at the question in the screen. Ah, okay, sorry. <laughs> How often do you attend the meeting? Hello, good night. Uh, you have for me, please? Oh, sure, no problem. No problem. It's okay, Norma. You may stay as a listener until you get home. All right. Thank you, Norma. Bye. Oh, you want day to repeat the question? All right. Please, Emerson, repeat the question. Okay. How often do you attend the meeting? I think she got disconnected, right? All right, Claudia Maria, please answer the question. I attend meeting a meeting uh, once a week. All right, thank you very much, Claudia. Now you ask the question to another classmate. Um, Gwen and Maricela, how often do you attend a meeting? Miss Wendy, are you there? 
Not yet. All right, Jose Gerardo, could you please answer the question? Mr. Jose Gerardo? Excuse me, teacher, ¿cómo tengo que responder la pregunta? Okay, you have to answer the question. Completing a sentence. Subject, the frequency adverb, the verb, and the complement. Así como está aquí en la pantalla. I attend a meeting every Friday morning, or I always attend a meeting. I never attend a meeting, depending on the frequency that you attend meetings. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I attend a meeting uh, always on Friday in the morning. All right. Very good. Very good. Uh -huh. El orden es así. Miren, ¿no? vamos a poner por acá solo para recordarlo. Cuando ponemos el adver, uh, frequency adverb, vamos a ponerlo después del sujeto, ¿verdad? I always attend a meeting. Y le podemos poner lo demás que es una time expression. Every Friday morning. Okay, to be specific. All right, specific on the time we attend meetings. All right, I always attend a meeting every Friday morning. What if I don't attend any meeting? Then I say I never attend meetings, right? And we can say and plural not only in singular when we are saying this in negative, but this is okay. Thank you very much. And we are going to continue with the next question. Good evening, Wendy. teacher. Hi, Sorry. good evening, Wendy. Hi, yes, teacher. we were. Okay. All right, but now it Sorry. will be your, your turn, all right? Okay, I leyendo reading la, la pregunta, teacher. Uh-huh. Eh, y um, cuando es, es negativo, teacher. I never attend a meeting. Uh, I, I don't never... attend meetings. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't attend a meeting free day. Uh-huh. On Friday mornings? Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's go and check the next thank you. question. All right, Wendy. Here we have a different question. All right, here is the next question. Mm -hmm. A ver, Jose Gerardo, please ask the question to another classmate. Pregúntele a Wendy. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. How do you often, how uh, often do uh -huh. you, um, with you in, in your work? Uh -huh. What is the action? What is the activity? Call. Uh -huh. Call what? Call us uh, your clients. Okay. Okay. So how often do you? Call clients, right? Oh, okay. How uh -huh. often do you call clients? Wendy? Um, eh, ¿Cómo tengo que decir? Dice, es que estoy confundida porque entré tarde. Como usted desee, con su información. Digamos, de acuerdo a cuánta, con qué frecuencia usted hace esa actividad en su trabajo. For example, if you call clients every day, then you are going to say, I call clients every day. I always call clients every day. I never call, call clients. I usually call um, clients yeah. in the afternoon, okay? Okay. Um, yes, 
I never clown, cl call clients uh, yeah, always. Right. Always. Eh, no, solo Así. es un adverbio de frecuencia. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. En este caso el adverbio de frecuencia es never, o sea, nunca. Oh, no. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ajá. Entonces, I never call clients. Ahí ya dijimos que nunca llamo a los clientes. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la respuesta, Wendy? Dígamela otra vez. I never call clients. Very good. Very good. Thank you very much. We are going to Thank change you. the question. All right. And here we've got the next question. Mm hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> it seems tasty. A ver, vamos a. Wendy, please ask this question to another classmate. I never. No, no, no. Coffee. No, no, tiene que hacer la pregunta. The question. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. How often do you? Do you? And what is the action in the picture? I often do you uh, coffee? Drink coffee. Drink coffee. Mm -hmm. A ver, diga la completa la pregunta. Say it completely. Uh, how often do you drink coffee? Exactly. ¿A quién le hacemos la pregunta, Wendy? A Emerson. Okay, Emerson, please answer the question. I always drink the coffee. Okay. Every day. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you, okay. Now, Emerson, you may ask another classmate. Okay. Uh, Jose Bernardo. How often do you drink the coffee, Bernardo? I drink coffee once a day. All right. Now you ask the question to another classmate. Okay. Claudia, how often do you drink coffee? I drink coffee every morning. All right. Very good. Uh -huh. Okay. I never drink coffee. It's bad for me. What do you think? I think that's a lie, right? <laughs> that's a lie. Everybody here drinks coffee. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we are going to call the roll. But when I call the roll, I need you to go to the platform. Please go to the platform. When I'm calling the roll, you will be unscrambling the words. Okay, so please go to the platform. Allow me to share the screen with you. You are going to find right down the video conference number eight. I posted an activity. So please go to the discussion label and you are going to find there an activity. So here it is. Uh, you go to the discussion label. And go to all topics and go to adverbs of frequency. And you have to unscramble each one. Okay. You have to unscramble each one. Then when you are unscrambling this. You write your answer and submit your answer. So you can separate each one with comma, okay? With a comma. For example, you write the first one, comma. The next one, comma. All right? You got it? Si se entendió lo que van a ir haciendo mientras yo tomo la asistencia? Yes. Okay. In the label on, of discussion, uh -huh. then? Well, Sorry. it says all topics, all topics. Uh -huh. That's a way. That's a way to access. Yes, uh, yes. Are you accessing by the? I mean, through the computer or a cell phone? Through, through the computer. 
All right, then. In the computer, you can go by the discussion label. I will go yes. to trace the path again. Okay, you go to the discussion okay. label, then click on all topics. O todos los temas, all topics. Mm -hmm. Then it's going to display this list. And you click on adverbs of frequency. You got it? Is, Is it everybody there number, already? Number eight? Yes, after the video conference number eight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right below the video conference number eight. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Meanwhile, I will hmm, call the roll. So please, everybody, you are working but paying attention. Remember, you have to turn your camera on. And when I call your name, you have to say press. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Teacher. Tell me. Podría repetir lo que vamos a hacer, por favor. Go no. to the go to the platform. Yeah. Go to yeah. the discussion label. I posted an activity. You have to unscramble the words. Put in order the word, and then you are going to write the correct word. Okay, and then you separate each word by commas in your uh, answer that you will submit. You, you will submit. Okay, los temas son adverbios de frecuencia. Yes, adverbs Hay of que, frequency. Porque no, no tengo el video que dice usted que vamos a ver. No, 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 no video, no video. No. One second, I will check uh, the screen again. Okay, allow me to go. Just one second. No video. Ah, porque me aparece un cuadro donde dice Scamper the world to find out. Yeah, but that's not a good word. It's not correct. It's unscramble because they are scrambled. Okay. Uh huh. Pero sí, esa es. Uh -huh. okay, okay. That is the activity. Well, I can arreglarlo, entonces. Exactly. Put in order the word. All the letters okay. to make the word. Okay. Thank okay. you, teacher. There you go. Okay, I will continue calling the roll. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Esther Darío. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present miss. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here teacher. All right. Y José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Mariana Scarlett Rodríguez Luna.
Ashtala Vahina Kumere Pukha Sahakurari Okay. Mariana, no, perdón, Marina, Yancy, Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Nelly. Present teacher. Okay, Mauricio. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Norma Patricia Viuda de Arrué. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Tatiana Ivón Torres de Present, Beltrán. Please. Okay. Wendy Maricela eh, Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. So now, what words did you find out? The first word. Always. Always, yes. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver si enviaron varios. Teacher, yo estaba luchando porque no encuentro qué topic es. Se llama Adverbs of Frequency. Es en discusión, ¿verdad? Sí, en discussion. Pero usted puede entrar de dos maneras. You can go by the discussion label, pero también existe la manera, la otra manera. Ahorita voy a... Por si no lo encuentra de una manera, a veces hay devices en que eh, no pueden llegar. Hay otra manera también fácil que usted se va a la clase del día de hoy, que sería la video conference number eight. Acá en curso, mire. En curso okay. se va a la section two, entra a las uni, a la unit two. Luego usted llega a la video conference number eight and scroll down. You scroll down and you, and you will find the activity posted. Look, adverbs oh, okay. of frequency. Yeah. And there you are. You click ah, okay. on it, okay? Yes, mm -hmm. I understand. Okay, that's one way. And the other way was the one that I explained. It was by the discussion label, guys, okay? Everybody could do it. Did you um, access to the, the post? Yes, miss. Okay, allow me to refresh and... Let's look at how many answers I have. <clears throat> Yay, always, often, sometimes, never, seldom, rarely, occasionally, usually, hardly ever. Yes, uh -huh. I will share the screen for you, for you to see the, the answers here. Look. Jose Alexander sent always, often, sometimes, never, seldom, rarely, occasionally, usually, hardly ever. Okay, good. Was it hard? Estaba difícil? Was it hard? Easy. Very easy. Uh huh. What do you think? Okay. Not so easy. No, really. Okay. Nelly sent it. Wow. And the list. Very good. Uh -huh. Occasionally. This is the correct spelling. Look. 
O C C always C C O C C A S only one S I O N A double L and Y occasionally. Mm -hmm. Always, often, sometimes, never, seldom, rarely, mm -hmm. usually, hardly ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Claudia, Eduardo, Emerson. A ver, ¿y los demás qué pasó? ¿Tuvieron algún problema para ingresar? Yes, I don't have access to PC to access uh, the platform. Okay, but do you have your cell phone with you at yes. this moment? Okay, yes. uh, do you have your mobile app from English Corporativo? Yes. Okay, then you go where it has two globes, I mean, two uh, balloons right there. Mm -hmm of speaking or of conversation. Then you click on it and it's going to display it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. En su aplicación del móvil es todavía más fácil porque ahí ya aparece nada más el icono de los dos globitos de discusión, entran ahí y ahí ya les aparecen las que están para contestarse, ¿verdad? Y ahí le aparece si ya contestó usted o no ha contestado. Así que es un poquito más fácil en el teléfono el acceso si usted baja la aplicación. Todos tienen la aplicación en su móvil. Uh, no, dicho Ah, pues la pueden bajar en el Play Store. Vale, miren, aquí abajo, ahí donde estamos en la plataforma, ustedes van, ahí está el link. ¿ve? Si es con el iPhone o si es con Android. Mira, ahí ustedes la pueden bajar y ustedes van a tener acceso así directo. ¿verdad? Ya la van a tener de planta en su teléfono más fácil, su plataforma. ¿Ok? Voy a ponerle aquí. Copy. Se las envío por el chat. Ahí está. Miren, para que la bajen los que la tengan en Android. Ese es para Android. Ok. Así es mucho más fácil accesar. Bien. We are going to continue now with the next activity. Okay, we were saying that we want to study or we want to speak about everyday tasks tonight. These tasks mm, are related to our jobs or to a different jobs, uh, to our coworker responsibilities, activities, right? So there are things that you are not responsible for and there are things that you are responsible for. So we want to make the difference and also we want to place this in timetables. If you can read a timetable, it will be easier for you to know who is in charge of doing any activity and what time is the correct time or when is something going to happen, right? So that's the timetable for. So um, we want to see what is the objective of, of studying these everyday tasks. Remember that we are studying the simple present. The simple present is to talk about habits, activities, actions, <laughs> things that always happen okay always happen because they are supposed to happen every day every time day after day month after month okay or things that never change even if they change from now on they will be different then we are going to express those activities with a simple present tense so this is what we are going to see 
Okay, so allow me to share the screen with you and you can check the objective of setting the everyday task. And here we go. The objective tonight is that you will be able to read collective schedules, showing basic and common tasks. As an example, in a restaurant, you see here, this is the staff and each member of the staff has different tasks to accomplish or to do during their work day. Okay, then our agenda, it was our feedback. And now we have a time for a conversation time. We are going to talk about tasks and staff. But I want you to check something very important that this topic is not learning about the tasks, is speaking about everyday tasks. Okay, so I need your participation. So let's start by this conversation. It says, hello, I'm Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I'm Ernest Valdue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Valdue. Is it B-E-L-B-U-E? -E? No, it's B-E-L-L-V-I-E-W. Thank you. Are you the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistics manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email to the 25 truck drivers. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment they usually order. I always invoice the delivery charge. It depends on the distance. It's about 200 dollars okay this is a conversation bet between these two people what's her name and what's his name who is she who's this one who's that Abigail. uh-huh abigail watson Watson. All right. And what's his name? Ernest Bellevue. Ernest Bellevue. All right. There you go. So now we started. Um, I'm going to ask, well, is there any, any question about the vocabulary in this conversation that you want to um, make clear? To clarify? Yes, what, what, what? Okay, tell me. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Is there any word that you want to know the pronunciation or the meaning? And oh. I, I was in voice. Is correct? In voice. In voice. In voice. In voice. I have facturo. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Everything okay? So now let's listen to, bueno, no hay preguntas de pronunciación ni nada, entonces vamos a darle, vamos, todos speaking, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, ponemos, Mauricio and Claudia, please, role play the conversation. Mauricio is Ernest and Claudia is Abigail. Hello, oh, no. Abigail. <laughs> Hello, I'm Abigail Guazzo, what's your name? Hi. Hi, Ernest, Ernest Bellevue. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry, what's 
What's your last name again? Is it's Bellevue? Is it B L B U E? No. It is B E L L V E I E W. Aha, uh -huh. got you guys. <laughs> hey, what about the spelling? Hey, come on. All right. A ver, repitamos esta parte, vaya, para que se oiga yeah. bien chévere. Desde nice to meet you too. Vamos a ver. Uh -huh. Claudia. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? Is Bellevue. Is it B L B U E? No. Nah. It is B E L L V I E W. Yes. Thank you. Continue. Are you the new the new truck driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I'm the logistic manager secretary. I schedule the deliveries and send the report by email to the 25 trucks driver. I organize the meetings and trainings. I also call clients every Friday to set the details for the weekly shipment. They usually order. I always invoice the delivery charge it depends on the distance. It's about $200. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's listen to Jose Alexander as Ernest and Imelda as Abigail. Hey. Hello, I am Abigail Watson. What's your name? Hi, I am Ernest Bilbiu. Nice to meet you, Abigail. Nice to meet you too, Ernest. I I am sorry. What's your last? What's your name? Again? It, it's Bilbiu. It's it's B E L B. You e? No, it's B E L L B I E W. Thank you. Are you the new truth driver? Yes, I am. What do you do? I am the Lockheed manager secretary. I should. The deliveries and send the report by email to the 25 truck driver. I organize the meeting and training. I also call clients every fr Friday, Friday to Friday? set the Friday to set the the time for the weekend. Spime, they they usually order. I always always in voice the del delivery charm. It's depending on the distance. It is about uh, two two hundred two hundred dollars. Okay. $200. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Now, let's answer the questions, okay? Only two important questions. What does Ernest Bellevue do? He is the truck driver. Truck driver. Okay, very good. Esta se diría, he is a truck driver. Okay. Si queremos decir específico, he is the what? The new, because they are 25 truck drivers. So he is the new truck drive. Okay. Specifically. So we could say he's a truck driver. He's the new truck driver. It's okay. Pero en general, cuando le preguntan a alguien, what do you do? 
Yo respondo, I am a teacher. ¿Cómo responde usted? What do you do, José Bernardo? I'm a student. All right. What do you do, José Alexander? I'm an accountant. Very good. What do you do, Imelda? Miss Imelda, what do you do? I am a... Your microphone is off. I am a... And you say your profession or your occupation. What do you do? Uh, I am an illustrator. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. No, let's... No, no podía activar el micrófono. Uh, okay. Me... No problem, Imelda. Now, let's answer the next question. What does Abigail Watson do? What's her occupation? What does she do? She's a secretary. Mm -hmm. A simple secretary? Is she a simple secretary? No, right, she has. No. Uh, job. Okay, she's an assistant, yes, but she says her job position, right? We could say she is the Logistics managers. Oops. Assist. Assistant or secretary? You should say secretary, right? There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this are their professions or occupations, right? What does Abigail Watson do? She's the logistics manager secretary, that specifically. And the general one was, she is a secretary, okay? There we go, nice. Let's continue with the conversation because this has a second part, okay? So please, everybody, continuing with the conversation, it will be like this. Abigail, when do you send the delivery schedule to the drivers? Well, I send the emails with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. When do you write the delivery report? I never write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send a report? The driver doesn't send a report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finishes the daily deliveries. Okay, thank you for the, your thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay, here we have the second part. Is there any question about the vocabulary in this part of the conversation? No. No questions. No question. Now, can you tell me what expressions of time do you see in this part of the conversation? Let's start by the first line and continue, okay? What time expressions, what frequency adverbs do you see? What time expressions, what adverbs of time do you see? Every. Mm -hmm. Every what? Every, mo every Monday morning. Okay, very good. Every Monday morning. Mm -hmm. Never write the delivery report. Very good. Mm -hmm. Another one? Daily. Daily? Mm -hmm. Daily delivery. Mm -hmm. More time expressions? See you tomorrow early. 
Yes, tomorrow early in the morning. So these is the words we want to identify in this very moment. But also we want to see that something is happening in that time. So tasks, okay, tasks. And these people, I mean, these two people are um requesting and giving information so asking and answer questions so let's read it again and you are going to role play right abigail when do you send the delivery schedule to the drivers well i send the emails with the delivery schedule every monday morning when do you write the delivery report i never write a delivery report the driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finishes the daily deliveries. Okay, thank you for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay. Emerson is going to be Ernest and Nelly as Abigail. Okay. Abigail, when do you send the delivery schedule to the drivers? Well, I send the emails with the delivery schedule every Monday morning. And do you write the delivery reports? I never write the delivery report. The driver writes the report. When does the driver send the report? The driver doesn't send the report. The driver gives me the physical report at the office when finished the daily deliveries. Okay, thanks for the information, Abigail. Okay, Ernest, have a nice day. See you tomorrow early in the morning. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's try to answer these questions. Okay. Now this is in general and something specific. Okay. Number one. Mauricio, please read the question. What do the truck driver do? Mm hmm Everybody, please, any idea? Mm. Uh, me, the, mm -hmm. truck, the truck driver deliver the product, write the reports, and deliver the report to the office. All right. After finishing. Very good, Jose Bernardo. When? When we want to express what the truck drivers do, we have to be careful with the verb agreement. Verb agreement means that it has to match the subject that we are using with the form of the verb we are using. For example, if we are talking about one truck driver, we use the third person form, adding letter S to each verb when we need a verb, okay? So for example, if I say in singular, the truck, oh, bueno, voy a empezar con A. A truck driver, hmm, deliver, deliver, but it's third person, so I have to add letter S. A truck driver delivers the product and writes the report or the daily report and gives it to the uh, logistics managers secretary okay there you go okay
So if you see, we are uh, doing the agreement. Have to make this agreement always. If it is singular, we use the singular verb form, okay? Adding letter S, adding letter S. Y tiene que sentirse, tiene que pronunciarse esa letra S, hacerse ver y notar, porque de lo contrario, entonces estamos cometiendo error. Entonces, si fuera en plural, a ver, contestemos en plural. Uh -huh. Drivers. Uh -huh. Truck drivers. Yes. No sería con letra S, ¿verdad? Sería yeah. el, formal o forma base, right? Truck drivers deliver the products. Uh -huh. Deliver the products and write. Write. Okay. And write the daily report and they give it to the L manager secretary. Okay. Is there any question so far about these form of answering? Is there any question? Eh, las dos oraciones son de terceras personas. No. En la primera, la segunda, sí. sí en la, no, en la primera esta que está acá, sí. Uh, perdón, creo que me perdí entonces porque me pregunta sí, por, las, me hace, por las preguntas uh -huh. o por las respuestas. No, la respuesta. Va, en porque esta dice, en en the first one, dice a true driver deliveries. It's one person, third person. Uh -huh. And the True divers deliver. Este ya es en plural. It's plural. Oh, 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 mm -hmm. oh, okay, 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 okay. This is plural. plural. Okay. okay, truck drivers. Okay, estaba mm -hmm. confundido. There you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, así como hicimos esta, hagamos esto. What does the logistics manager's assistant do? It is a very long thing here. Yeah, so please everybody go to the conversation. Go to the, the conversation and let's say. Who wants to answer? Mm-hmm. Who wants to answer? Uh, logist manager, secretary, shall go uh, del deliveries. And okay. Este se pronuncia schedule. Schedule. The schedule. Mm -hmm. schedule. Yes. Schedule. Schedule. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Pero esta es la que vamos a estar usando. Schedule es el programa, okay? El horario. Hmm? Schedule. Schedule. Vamos a tratar de escribirla para ver cómo ustedes lo ven así. Como que yo dijera. No debiéramos, pero lo vamos a hacer. Vamos a ver. Como que dijéramos así. Que. Así, miren. Schedule. Schedule. ¿Sí se mira? Schedule. Schedule. Así se dice, schedule. Schedule, ¿Hm? no es schedule. Yes. No, es schedule. Eh, con letra S como que fuera un snake, como que fuera el sonido de la serpiente, así, schedule. 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 Esa palabra es uso frecuente en empresas. Sí, y en todas, yes. en la yes. mayoría de empresas, sí, schedule. Schedule. En la escuela también. Schedule. Hmm? Okay. So, let's say. Uh, it was Eduardo, you were saying. So, continue, please. I'm sorry. I just, inter I just interrupted because of the pronunciation. But continue, please, Eduardo. A logistic manager's secretary may 
make a schedule the deliveries in send yeah. the report by email. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. I will copy and paste and take it over there for you to check this out. All right. Schedule. Ta -da 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 -da. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, invoice the delivery charge. Yes, I. And let's take it because we are in this answers. Okay, we are in number two, so we are going to write it right here. Oops. Okay. In a different thing. Here it is. Okay, what does the logistic managers do? Lo voy a poner así encima solo para que lo veamos, ¿ok? Pero eh, ya lo vamos a organizar. Ok, la primera cosa, the first thing is that if we're talking about the activities in plural, ok, then we have to use the base, the base form. If we're talking about only Abigail Watson, right, then we're going to use third person. So, in this case, what does the logistics manager's assistant do? Ah, entonces aquí pongo the logistic manager's assistant schedules the deliveries and sends the report by email to the 25 truck drivers. Aquí le quitamos el I, ponemos she, or depending, L-M-A, right, L-M-A, organizes, porque solo estamos hablando de uno, ¿verdad? The meetings and trainings. L-M-A, also call clients, aquí sería calls, okay? A ver, ayúdenme con lo que sigue. Esta sería. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo quedaría acá? El verbo acá, ¿cuál Invoice. es? Invoice. Yes. There you go. So this is the answer. Talking about only one logistic manager. I mean, manager's assistant. So, yes. Y si lo hiciéramos en plural, the logistic manager assistants, okay, then el plural sería assistants y cambiamos todas las letras S en los verbos, ¿verdad? Porque sería una forma base. Okay. Are we okay so far? ¿Vamos bien hasta aquí? <coughs> Is there any question? No questions. No, no. Okay, number three. Number three, please, Pablo, read the question. How often does a truck driver write a delivery report? Okay, and what is the answer, guys? What is the answer? Daily, ok. Daily. Y siempre busquemos hacer una oración completa, a complete sentence to answer, to put in order our ideas. Ok. How often does Miss Watson call clients? How often does Miss Watson call clients? Every Friday. Every Friday, ok. Hagámoslo una oración. Ok. Um. She also clients every Friday. Okay. She 
Uh -huh. Also. Also, también. Yeah. Or always. 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 Uh -huh. Cold. Sería calls. Call. Clients. Client every Friday. Friday. There you go. Is there any question so far? Or are we okay, guys? No questions? No, teacher. All right. Good. Let's continue. Okay. So now let's go to the manual. Page. If I'm not wrong, it's page 20. Okay, so now we are going to see the uh, this verb agreement using the verbs in activity number five. It says, use the verbs from the box to write sentences about you and people in your workplace. Okay, so now let's try to write five sentences using these um, verbs they are uh, giving over there. Okay, allow me to share the screen. Okay, number one, work. A ver, una oración using the verb work. Claudia? Sorry. Uh, uh, often... Do you work on weekends? Eh, si es una afirmativa, no usamos do you. Do you solo. Uh, eh, uh -huh. A menos que vamos a poner how often. En pregunta, sí. How often uh -huh. do you work? Do you work on weekends. On weekends. Okay, yes, it's correct. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, I, I missed. Understand. Okay, there you go. How often do you work on weekends? Good. And next one, number two, please. Tatiana. Ah, she's just a listener. Um, Jose Bernardo, please. Number two. Using open. Any activity, any task. Say, Imelda opened the door every day. Imelda. Aha. Uh -huh. A ver, repítamelo, Mauricio. Could you please repeat? Oh. Imelda, open. Is it correct? The door. Imelda, open the door of your office. Oh, no, no, no. Vaya, veamos acá. Eso es lo que Mauricio nos dijo. Arreglémosla entre todos. Vamos a ver para que tenga el sentido correcto. Imelda, si es she, ¿qué forma del verbo voy a usar? 
Yes. All right. Opens the door of your office. Pero estoy hablando que es la puerta de la oficina de otra persona, no la de Imelda, ¿verdad? Si queremos decir que es la oficina de Imelda, entonces of her office. Ah. Okay. Okay. Imelda opens the door of her office. Very good. Oh, perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. Number three, please, Emerson. One sentence. Okay. Arrive. Today arrived the container with the products. Today arrived. Mm -hmm. The container with the new products. Okay. Aquí usamos tercera persona. To Ray, to, I'm sorry, today right. arrives. 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 The container with the new products. Pero para que suene así más tal vez eh, común la frase, podríamos ponerle the container, que sería nuestro eh, sujeto siempre, ¿verdad? Hay que tratar de ordenar nuestra idea como un sujeto, un verbo y complemento. The container arrived. Uh -huh. O oh, the container with the new products. Ese sería el todo junto, el sujeto, the subject. The container with the new products arrives. Por eso tiene que tener letra S, miren, arrives today. Okay. Usually time expressions go at the beginning or at the end of the, the sentence. Okay. Y ahí ya tiene un sentido y un orden más común. Miren, the container with the new products arrives today. All right. Next verb. Jose Alexander, please use close in a sentence. Actions, activities that you do in your workplace or that someone can do in uh, in a workplace. Um... I close the office every day at 8 p.m. Good. There you go. Here we have the subject, then the verb, and the complement. Thank you very much, Jose Alexander. Number five, uh, the verb is go. Who wants to give me an example or a sentence? Uh, me teacher. Okay, please go ahead. You didn't go to the meeting today. Great, it's a negative one. Excellent. You didn't go to the meeting today. All right. And this one is in the past tense. Okay. In a past tense, some someone didn't show up, right? There you go. Even though we are studying the simple present, but yes, it's okay. It's well, eh, it's grammatically correct. Okay, ahora un en presente. Vamos a ver. We have, or oh, we go to a meeting, okay? We go to a meeting. That's good. Pero este go es mejor a 10. Ok, yo porque lo estoy queriendo hacer match con este. Pero vamos a buscar uno con go and present. I go home uh, early in the evening. So it means that I arrive. I go maybe 5 a.m., right? I'm sorry, 5 p.m., right? There you go. I go home early in the evening. There you go. 
Okay, and then, then there you have a lot of other uh, tasks or activities in mind. Okay, now allow me to go here. Okay, we clear, clear all drawings. Now, here we've got this conversation, okay? It says, this is about marketing, remember? Yesterday, it says, hello, Jennifer, how's it going? Just fine, Mr. Ma, I'm just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good, look, I'm thinking about the new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert uh, every week. Do we ever give a promotion item? No, sir, we never do. Okay, again. Hello, Jennifer. How is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular basis. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new marketing strategies and I want to know some things. Tell me, sir, how often do we change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? No, sir, we never do. Okay. Vladimir, are you available to practice the conversation? Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, please, teacher, with Daisy, tell me. Teacher, uh, what does basis mean? Uh, regular basis. Regular basis is um, seguido o siempre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And ready. Okay, Vladimir, please, with Jose Alexander. Hello, Jennifer. How, how is it going? Just fine, Mr. Mott. I am just checking the number of people who come in a regular base. Basis. That sounds good. That sounds good. Look, I am thinking about new making, new, make it, new making strategies, and I want to know something. Tell me, sir. How often do you change the menu? Well, we seldom change the menu. However, we are promoting a dessert every week. Do we ever give a promotional item? Item. item. No, no, sir. We never do. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, we are going to answer the question we've got right here. It says, what kind of restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? What kind of restaurant is the one that you're talking about? If it the says... Thing? Who come in a regular basis? Uh -huh, tell me. I'm sorry, I am interrupted. Vladimir, you were saying something? Yes, a restaurant is a only dessert. Desserts? Okay. Uh -huh. All right, like Coffee and desserts, good, mm -hmm. okay. What do you think, guys?
What kind of a restaurant do you think Jennifer manages? Is it an elegant one, a fancy one, uh, that you have to make your own reservation to book a reservation? What do you think? I think it's one of those. Why? Because it says that Mr. Mott is checking the number of people who come in, regu in a regular basis, right? Regular basis. So they, um, that it's repetitive, right? It's repetitive, the number of people who come. Well, if they don't change the menu, what kind of restaurant do you think it is? Do you have any idea? No. No ideas? They never give promotional items. Okay, so what kind of restaurant is that? Uh, Vladimir said a dessert place, right? A dessert palace. <laughs> a a dessert. fast food. Okay, fast food. But they give away promotional items very often, right? They are giving cups and toys yes. and things like those. So I don't yes. think if they never mm. give promotional items, I don't think it is a fast food restaurant. What do you think? Okay, Vladimir said a dessert restaurant. All right. Uh, we could say a fancy restaurant. Okay. And it says that they never change. Uh, well, no, they sell them because if they are promoting a new dessert every week, okay, they are making changes, right? But not so much. Okay, number two, what are some marketing strategies that a restaurant is using nowadays to get more clients? Mm -hmm. uh, they are promoting a dessert. Okay. Every week. Yes, every week. Very good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if Mr. Mod is asking for this information, he's requesting if they give away any promotional item. So maybe they, he is planning to give away promotional items, right? He's considering. All right. Let's continue. Now we go to the next page here. And we have another conversation, okay? We have another conversation. Oh, mm, how many employees are there in your company, guys? How many employees are there in your company, Mauricio? In my company, how employee? How many employees? Two thousand. Okay, there are. Two, uh, there are two thousand. Thousand employees. All employee. right. Thank you. Uh, Nelly, how many employees are there in your company? Um, in my company, we are 20 employees. Okay, we can say we are, we say there are 20 employees, okay? There are 20 employees, including myself, right? Okay, um, thank you, Nelly. 
Uh, Claudia, how many employees are there in your company? Uh, about 30 employees. Okay, there are about 30. There are about 30. Okay, there you go. Jose Bernardo, how many employees are there in your company? Um, there are 500 employees. All right, 500 employees. Now I'm going to ask you for something very important. Do they do the same thing day after day? Do they do the same thing day after day? Uh, more or less, but yes. Okay, so they have scheduled activities to do. They have tasks to accomplish, all right? Let's read this question. What the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? What the estimated time an employee works a day in your workplace? So what's your workday schedule? What's your workday schedule or the workday schedule of your of the employees in the company? Do they have different schedules? Or everybody in the company has the same schedule? Uh, it's for pair groups. A uh, group do the same thing, but another group don't do the same thing that the other. All right, they have a different schedule too. Uh, they start work in a different time. They finish work in the in a different time, or do they start at the same time? They finish at the same time. Yeah, it's for the area they are. Uh, an example, in the forging, they just forge, but in packing, they just pack. Mm -hmm. So they have specific tasks. All right, yes. very good. Mm -hmm. What time does the complete company start working, everybody? What time? Nelly, what's your start time in your company? Um, 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? Yes. Does everybody arrive at 8 a.m.? Yes, yes, everybody. All right. Don't you have different shifts? No. Okay, great. Okay, but there are some other companies that they have different shifts. For example, they have the morning shift, the evening shift, the night shift, or the overnight shift or the graveyard shift, okay? Or they can just be the early shift or the late shift, okay? Shift es el tiempo de trabajo, ¿verdad? Son las horas, el horario, digamos, disponible para trabajar. Okay, ¿qué sería en, nuestras, en, en nuestro léxico? Turno, ¿verdad? Shift es el turno, because they are changing the schedules. It's not that they change the tasks. They do maybe the same thing, but in a different time, all right? Okay, now, what um, professions or occupations are hired in your company? What professions or occupations are suitable in your companies? Let's look. Jose Alexander. What kind of professionals are hired there? They're in the conversation. No, 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 no. Oh, in your not. company. Um, uh, Biologists, as is the pronuncia. Yes, biologists. Biologists, uh, mm -hmm. there are um, managers. Mm -hmm. um, 
accountants there are human resource agents or technicians human uh, resources specialists human resources specialists yes okay good good mm -hmm. okay operators do you have operators no, no? okay it's an accounting a company right is an environmental investment fund. Oh, okay. Okay. So uh, you work for education or you Only... uh, implement the strategies or you are the, the ones who uh, execute the, the, we, the plans. We execute uh, projects for... Uh, environmental restoration, uh, turtle conservation, for example. All right, very good, mm -hmm. really interesting. Yeah, the very important labor. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much, Jose Alexander. Now, uh, what other professions are there represented over here? Let's look. Is there someone who wants to share? What professions or occupations are needed in your company? Emerson? Hello? What occupations or professions are needed in your company? Professional, there is uh, engineers, bachelors, engineers. Mm -hmm. bachelors. Bachelors of, in different areas or in a specific area? In different areas, for example, uh, human resources, mm -hmm. um, finances, okay. and, um, uh, marketing. Good. That is a special. All right. Uh, there is that there is technicals of quality. Okay, there are technicals of quality mm -hmm. or yeah. technicians, technicians. Technician. Okay. Technician of quality and uh, <clears throat> the personnel of the houses. That is all. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for sharing. All right, everybody in the company has to know what the company expects from them, what tasks are they hired for, and the way they have to do these tasks. So let's look at this conversation and pay attention about the responsibilities, their tasks, and also the time. So we want to make these all together, to put all the, these pieces together to make a timetable, like a schedule, okay? So we're going to talk about staff, like the professions, and we're going to talk about the schedules. Okay, remember that this class is speaking. So, hey, Matthew, how's it going? Very good, Ben, I'm relieved that everybody is here today because of the traffic, you know. You're right. Look, who has the early and late shift for this coming weekend? According to the schedule, Mark and Sophie have the morning and the afternoon shift, and Tom and Kate have the evening shift. Okay, so... Uh, is there any question about the conversation? Is there any question about the vocabulary there? No. No questions? No question. Okay, then. They are talking about 
Mark, Sophie, Tom, Kate. That's staff. They are employees, right? And they are talking about shift. Morning shift, afternoon shift, evening shift. So time, right? Early and late shifts. Early, morning. Late, evening. Okay? So they are talking about the time and who is in charge of doing the tasks during that time. Okay. Now, can you tell me please or name what um what is the staff needed in a restaurant? Do you know? Do you have any idea when you go to a restaurant? What staff do you expect to see? Waiter. A waiter. Mm -hmm. uh, a host. A host, yes. Cashier. I'm sorry? Cashier. Cashier, yes, cashier. Mm -hmm. Pero no sé si andaban destripados. What else? Who Chef. else? Chef, uh huh, chef. Bartenders. Bartenders. It depends on the place you go. Yes, bartenders. Mm -hmm. Cooks. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The person who cleans. La persona que lim hace limpieza, ¿cómo se le llama, teacher? A, the person who cleans is the janitor or just the cleaning person. Yeah. Cleaning person, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, the maid or something like that too. Okay, then. Each person has a own schedule, his, uh, I mean, his or own tasks to do. So, vamos a ir antes de hacer y ver lo del, ah, ya casi, ya casi, ya casi, son las diez. Okay, bien. Vamos a ver entonces por acá y vamos a hacer así rapidito. And we want to think about this. Let's use these professions or occupations and let's say what does everybody do? For example, an accountant is the person who maintains financial records. Vamos a definir qué hace cada quien, las actividades, ¿verdad? Tasks, tareas. Vamos a ver, let's read the instructions. Use the words in the word bank to complete the sentences. Underline with red color the to be verb and with green color the verbs in third person. So, number two. Number two. Who is the person who makes our men's or alter clothing? We have lawyer, tailor, receptionist, painter, dentist, manager, musician, cashier, bartender. Mm -hmm. The person who makes or mends or alter clothing. Makes, hace. Mends, arregla. Alter, la pone a la medida. Yeah. Clothing. Who do you think it is? Taylor. All right. Entonces, para poder decir esto, vamos a usar así. A Taylor. Okay. A Taylor. Uh -huh. Is the person who makes or mends. Yeah. The verb be in red. And what's the verb here? We have different verbs. We have makes. We have mens. And we have alter. Okay, number three.
Kosher. Uh -huh. Can you say it completely? Um, kosher is a person who collects payment for merchandise. Ok, ¿tenemos que usar a o tenemos que usar an? En este caso, ¿qué usamos? A. Uh a -huh. cashier. Uh -huh. Is the person who collects. All right. Thank you. Continue. It's a museum. Which one? It's a museum. A, a, a museum is... Okay, a musician. A, musician. a ver, digámoslo musician. bien. Musician. Musician. Uh -huh. Is. Exact. Mm -hmm. Number four. Is. Yes. A receptionist. A receptionist. Is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Estamos hablando en singular, miren, todo es singular, singular. Ajá. Number six. A painter. Dígame lo completo, say it completely. A painter is the person who paints house. Who paints. Acuérdense que tenemos que hacer que, no es, paint. que digamos esa letra S, ¿ok? Painter. Painter. A painter, A painter is the person who is paints person house. Who paints houses, apartments. Or other structures. Okay, next. A Number lawyer. Seven. A lawyer mm -hmm. is. A lawyer is a person who practices law. Okay, a lawyer is. Who practices, ok? Who practices. Acordémonos de pronunciar esa tercera persona. It's really important. Yes, yes, ok. Practices, practices. Practices, okay. mm -hmm. What about number eight? A dentist. Mm -hmm. Is the person who treat the sizes of the Sí. Mm -hmm. Es diseases, ¿ok? Diseases, yes. diseases. A dentist is the person is, who is the person who treats diseases of the teeth. Ok, here we go. What about number nine? A bartender. Okay, can you say the complete sentence? A, a bartender is the person who makes and mm -hmm. serves beverage at the pool or bar. Okay, a bartender is the person who makes and serves beverages at a pub or a bar beverage beverages beverages Bever beverages okay. mm -hmm. esa es de plural miren este es de plural y beverage. serves yeah. es no es plural serves es tercera persona makes tercera persona vamos a la siguiente number 10 Mm -hmm. a, a manager. Okay, yes, it's a manager. 
Can you say the complete is, sentence? Is the person who oversees some something or stuff. Okay. A manager. A manager is, is the person. The person who oversees Overseas. something. Overseas. Overseas. Something or stuff. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. Now, vamos a hacerlo así. Voy a decir 10 people. Jose Bernardo, number one. Jose Alexander, number two. Daisy Elizabeth, number three. Claudia Maria, number four. And Imelda, number five. Can you start, please, reading the sentences, Jose? Okay. An accountant is the person who maintains financial reports, records. A tailor is the person who makes or mends uh, or alter clothing. Stacey? Yes. Uh, cashier, cashier. cashier is the person Book collects prime for merchandise. 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 Okay, se lo vamos a poner más grandecito. <laughs> <laughs> Esa es mi debilidad. <laughs> yeah, mine too, mine too. All right, number four, please, Claudia. A musician a is the person a who plays a musical a instrument. instrument. Thank you. And Imelda, number five. I read six. Miss Imelda. Uh, number five. Yes. A uh, painter is the person who paint the house, apartment where they are stored. Structure, pero esa era número seis, ok. <risa> Vaya, vamos a ver, léame las cinco, mm. Imelda. Ah, perdón. Eh, a reception is the person that is at the reception of a company. Ok, ok. Hay que leer así como cada palabra. Oye, Imelda, se come un poquito Gracias. las palabras. Vamos a ver. Es que ya hace hambre, dígame, Imelda. <risa> <risa> y sueña. <risa> yeah, yeah. And we are sleepy now. Ok, number six, please, Wendy. And number seven, please, Karen. Number eight, please, Eduardo. Go ahead. A liar is the person who practices law. Wendy, number six. Ah, a painter is the person who paints houses, apartments, or other structures. Okay, thank you. Number seven, please. A liar is the person who practices Law. Ok, aquí no podemos decir liar, sino que lawyer. Lawyer. Lawyer, lawyer, lawyer. lawyer es mentiroso, ok. <laughs> uh, something similar, right? But no. Ok, <laughs> Lawyer, lawyer. Y cuando decimos el final, esta palabra final, law. 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 Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Law. And este es. This is a lawyer. A lawyer is the person. Ahora, este que miran acá, que es who, no vamos a decir con doble D, sino que vamos a decir como que solo estuviera la, la H ahí como una J, ¿ok? Como que si estuviéramos yeah. llamando al perrito, who, ¿ok? Who, who, sígalo, es lo mismo, who, ¿ok? Thank you. Vamos a ver, next one. Eduardo, I think it was. A dentist is a person who treats the seers of the teeth. Thank you, Eduardo. There you go. Number nine. Uh, I don't know if Tatiana is available now. Okay. Pablo, number nine. 
Vladimir, number 10. A bartender is the person who makes and serves beverage at a pub or a bar. Okay. Vladimir. Vladi. Vladimir. Ay, no, no podemos cantar. Le hice. Okay, Vladimir. Number 10. Number 10. A manager is a person who oversees something to staff or staff. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I will stop sharing. It's almost time to go. What? A ver, tenemos dos, realen esos dos minutitos, sí, por favor. Please, please do. On page number 23, on page number 23 of your manuals, you have a, a, a schedule, okay? Thank you very much for those who send the, the story of your daily a, routine on the WhatsApp. Thank you, Bernardo, for doing it. Thank you, Mauricio, for doing it. And I don't remember who else did it. And now, let's go back over there. Okay. This is a schedule. Here we've got day positions, the job positions, and we have the time, okay, the time. Here we've got the people who makes mm, the, um, the function as a cashier, as a cook, as a manager, as order taker, as a waiter, all right? So, for example, we have cashiers. How many cashiers are there in this restaurant? There is two. two. Cashiers. There are four. There are four. 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 There are okay. Four. There are four cashiers and they have different schedules. Okay. What does a cashier do? What does a cashier do? We know. We know what does a cashier do. They collect money from the public. Okay. They collect the money for the merchandise. That's what we read over there. Okay, so let's look at what time does Kimberly Thompson collect the money? From 10 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Excellent. What about Pam Pamela? Yeah. Pamela. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Collects the money from four thirty PM to four four PM to ten PM. To ten PM. So Kimberly is in the morning shift and Pamela is in the afternoon, afternoon. shift. Pero también puede ser evening shift. Miren, porque uh -huh. ya estamos pasado del afternoon. Ya yeah. desde las 5 para allá ya podemos decir evening shift porque va a terminar hasta las 10. She's going to finish until 10. Okay, so on, we are going to continue um, looking at the schedule of each one. Okay, now think about what kind of shift do you have and your your co-workers also okay think about that information and tomorrow we are going to do an activity based on that information okay so i will stop sharing is there any question so far no teacher all clear Okay. Yes. Okay. I just want to re remind or remember that 
this class objective was speaking about. And we did it, right? We spoke just a little bit about the tasks of people. Everyday tasks. Good. Okay, then the session one on one for today is for um Imelda, right? Imelda is going to stay. Is it okay, Imelda? Do you want to stay the 10 more minutes? Yes. Okay, then allow me to call the roll. Please, everybody, turn your camera on. And when I call your name, please say present. Today is Wednesday the 8th. Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present, teacher. Cecilia Jasmine Menjibar Soto. Claudia Maria Guerrero Mejia. Present. Darío Antonio Alvarenga Gómez. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Álvarez. Present, teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present, teacher. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, teacher. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Present, teacher. Irma Stephanie Carranza Rivas. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Mr. Gerardo. Karen Janet Granado Sorellana. Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Okay. Marianne Scarlett Rodriguez Luna. Marina Chancy Sandoval Bonilla. Present. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Nelly Lilibet Andrade García. Present. Pa Patricia Viuda de Arrué Vázquez. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present teacher. Sandra Leticia Peraza Sandoval. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present, Miss. Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present. Okay, there you go. I hope everybody is learning, okay? I hope you are advancing. And please do your homework, work in advance. Remember that we have to complete also the midterm exam. Uh, not later than 12 midnight on Friday. But remember, you are not going to wait until Friday to do it, all right? You may start now. Remember, it's, may, uh, it's compound of four parts. You can start by the parts that we already seen in class. Okay, people, see you tomorrow. Have a very good night. Take a very good rest. Do your homework and bye-bye. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Bye. bye. Take bye, care. Teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, Nelly. Me cuesta, teacher. You feel that it that this is difficult, but I encourage you to practice it and don't be afraid. Don't be scared. Just say it. Practice it. As you are reading, that's what you're gonna este. say. Mm -hmm. Fíjense de que yo tuve un problema en el, en el módulo 4. Mm -hmm. Entonces yo el 5 no lo quería continuar, yo quería regresarme, o sea, iniciar otra vez el 4. El y ellos me dijeron que no, que continuar y todo eso. Pero mm -hmm. yo, sí siento, yo sí siento el déficit de, 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 de ese problema que tuve, porque mm -hmm. estuve, fíjense que mi mamá se enfermó, entonces estuve mm -hmm. tres semanas de oyente, o sea, yo regresé. Mm -hmm. Ya al final, entonces yo sentía que iba bien, que yo entendía, pero ya después cuando mi mamá falleció en octubre, ya oh, después so yo estaba en la clase, pero era, yo no entendía, yo oh. no entendía, entonces yo sí siento que sí me está costando, o sea, siento, ahora siento peor que al inicio.
Uh, yes, because we are in the module number six. Uh -huh. uh, continue, I'm sorry. I interrupted. Ajá, yo, yo dije, voy a terminar este, este, número seis. Pero yo no sé si se puede, pero yo me voy a regresar. Si yo pudiera regresarme al tres, digamos, yo me regresara al tres. Es que yo iba bien. Pero de ahí para allá es, es mentira. Yo después ya... No. Y estaba ahí en la clase y no, algunas cosas no entendía, algo otro lo hacía más por lógica que porque yo sabía lo que estaba haciendo. Well, sí my tip, yo creo que mi, mi consejo que le puedo dar es que eh, a la par usted vaya, por ejemplo, ahorita el tema es prácticamente regresando a, al 3. Sí, entonces eso, eso le voy a decir yo que estábamos viendo los adverbios de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. estoy viendo yo de que todo eso de los daily routine y todo eso ya lo, lo habíamos hecho. De hecho, yo tengo así como la libreta para estar viendo porque uh -huh. siento de que como que es lo mismo. Ajá. Sí, exacto. Lo único que ya está aplicado a otro ambiente, ¿verdad? Ya un restaurante Ajá. y eso. O a las estrategias de mercadeo, que es otro tema, ¿verdad? O otro, y que ya todo es más otro inglés, contexto. Que... Sí, uh -huh. todo es. Es que la verdad es que debiéramos haber empezado solo inglés, ¿verdad? Solo inglés. Sí. Ajá, porque a nosotros los facilitadores nos exigen el 100%, ¿verdad? En la clase, ¿verdad? No Spanish. Uh -huh. Pero consideramos muchas veces que es necesario que lo, que quede comprendido el tema. Pero mire, sí, mi, mi mayor consejo es que usted tiene acceso a los, eh, a los cursos anteriores. Entonces, usted, por ejemplo, por cada tema que nosotros vamos viendo, vea también el anterior, vea el, el del módulo en que usted siente que ahí no, no, no lo agarró bien, digamos, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. usted regrese a ese video porque usted tiene acceso a las listas de YouTube, ¿verdad? Entonces, Ajá. por ejemplo, si usted siente que Um, cuando hablamos de los trabajos, de las profesiones, de cómo definirlo todo en inglés, entonces regrese allá y vea vocabulario, ¿verdad? Porque prácticamente allá aprendimos vocabulario. Entonces aquí, y un poco sí. de gramática, como el presente simple, pero bien básico. Entonces ahorita usted Ajá. necesita ese colchoncito, Es, como, es la combinación de todo, ¿verdad? Ajá. Exacto. Entonces, usted regrese en ese video y vea donde usted recuerde el presente simple, donde vea afirmativo, negativo, preguntas, respuestas cortas. Esos, así, por temas, usted va agarrando cada tema de acuerdo a cómo nosotros vamos aquí desarrollando. Y mira de regreso el video para que eh, no se quede eh, pensando de qué será. ¿verdad? Mírelo, digamos, en la mañana, en un ratito que usted tenga tomando café, qué sé yo, ¿verdad? O a la hora del almuerzo. La cuestión es que no se lo pierda. Mire, ahorita usted va bien en lo que vamos. Usted ha participado bien, ha leído bien. O sea, está dentro de la clase. Ahora, de aquí para allá no se me vaya a detener para que usted pueda seguir creciendo en lo que ahorita estamos poniendo, ¿verdad? Y pues que lo siento esta noticia que me da, pues de que la razón por la que usted se le fue es eh, su mamá, ¿verdad? Entonces yo la verdad lo siento mucho, es una noticia dura, pero este, gracias a Dios usted tiene una buena actitud ante la vida, entonces eh, yo creo que esto le va, le va a facilitar si usted regresa al video ese, ¿verdad? O Ay, puede también poner eh, dentro de los listados de YouTube eh, de, 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 del canal, ¿verdad? De, yo he, de hecho, yo he bajado unas aplicaciones que supuestamente ahí es para practicar y todo eso, pero uh -huh. hay cosas que como no las vi anteriormente, me siento en la luna también. Es que mejor véalos ver. por Ajá. temas, mejor véalos por temas porque así es a lo loco nunca va a ser nada. O sea, digamos que le pasan una cosa que otra y no, nunca va a ser nada. Entonces, no es como que usted diga, así se dice cuando quiero tal cosa. Por ejemplo, eh, yo le digo, los usos del presente simple que hemos estado viendo es para cuando decimos las cosas que hacemos en el trabajo. Va, eso es un Ajá. tema, ¿verdad? Eh, o las cosas que nunca cambian, que siempre las hacemos, por ejemplo, nos levantamos, nos bañamos, nos vestimos, esas son cosas que siempre hacemos, 
Era. Usamos el presente simple para nuestros hábitos, ¿verdad? Y hay otros usos, pero ahorita no estamos viendo esos usos. Ajá. Entonces usted váyase a, lo, a ese uso que estamos viendo. Y eso lo va a ver allá en el módulo 1, en el 2, en el 3, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, mire, sí, no, no, no le miento, mire, aquí tengo una libreta, tengo otra, y tengo, tengo casi toda la de los módulos, que, porque en, en la misma, yo estoy buscando cuando está así, Ajá. estoy buscando, ah, estoy con esto, y así es como me voy, pero Ajá. si me está costando. Ajá, pero también ah. sabe qué, ubíquese en lo que vemos acá, así, solo en la muy pantalla, y tome nota de cada cosa. ¿Verdad? Para que Así. eso, en eso usted va memorizando aún más, ¿verdad? Va memorizando aún más. Entonces, eh, y la otra cosa, no deje de participar, ¿verdad? Que siente que le da pena, no importa, usted participe, que es necesario que hagamos el speaking, ¿verdad? Porque acuérdese que a veces bien sí. entendemos leyendo, entendemos escribiendo, sí. pero a la hora de hablarlo, ¡ah! Y, Quedamos así. Sí, Entonces, hay que practicar y decir Practic y decir y decir. Practicar, ¿verdad? Es lo... Exacto. Y fíjese que lo va a hacer si usted imita. Por ejemplo, yo siempre les digo, eh, lean lo completo. No, solo quieren decir una partecita, no, todo. ¿Por qué? Porque lo que necesito es que a, ejerciten, ¿verdad? Cada palabra, cada oración. Y así van armando en su mente las ideas. Entonces usted cada vez que, que sea de participar, usted léalo todo lo que está ahí, ¿verdad? Y así va a aprender la No, sí, de hecho, fíjese, cuando, de hecho, cuando los, las otras personas están leyendo, digamos, yo estoy leyendo al, al, al compás, vea, y hay cosas que tal vez no sé cómo se dicen, entonces empiezo a escribirlas en, en, el, en el libro. Ah, muy bien, Ajá. muy bien, cabal. Y cualquier cosa, pues, estamos a la orden, Imelda, ¿verdad? Sí, muy Muchas Cualquier gracias. cosa, estamos a la orden para poder apoyarla y no se le olvide hacer las tareas, vea. No, Ajá. fíjense que ahorita ya voy al día, ahorita. Va al Ajá. día, sí, ok. Y nos sí. toca subir también el examen, ¿verdad? El examen son cuatro partes, ya puede ir empezando para, ah, sí. que, para que le vaya. Yo creo que ya. ahorita hice hasta la 10 hasta la he hecho. Hasta la 10. Ah, no, sí. Ajá, hasta la 10. Yo dije, ah, no, sí, esto ya lo, ya, ya sabía yo que lo sí. que decía, como le digo, algunas cosas sí las entiendo, otras no. Ajá, y otras exacto. con el traductor o este, que estaba diciendo usted que usáramos más el diccionario que el traductor, ¿verdad? Ajá, exactamente, que inglés, Ajá. inglés, exacto. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, y no solo eso, porque también puede irse al manual. En el manual hay mucho ah, ¿sí? eh, ejercicio. Y ahí puede encontrar usted vocabulario, ¿verdad? Y tal como está ahí, así se dice. Entonces, no hay que Ajá. cambiarle nada. Solo ya así como está, así se dice. Entonces, se le no, que a, veces lo, a veces lo busco porque, a veces lo busco porque no, sé, no sé qué quiere decir. O sea, para saber el significado. Ajá. Sí, tiene razón. Pero que sea la última, la última, la, la última herramienta. Exacto. Ah, sí. Al principio usted trate de entenderlo con el contexto. Si no entiende con uh -huh. el contexto, entonces vea con la definición en inglés. Si no entiende con la definición en inglés, busque otro ejemplo. Puede poner en, en Google, por ejemplo, eh, que use esa palabra en una oración. Se lo voy a escribir así aquí en el chat para que lo ponga en Google cuando, para que vaya evitando usar, eh, así usted le tiene que poner use, ajá. Eh, por ejemplo, digamos que la palabra que usted está buscando es window, va, ya, esa ya se la puede, pero va, use window in a sentence. Así lo va a escribir, mire, en Google, en Google, no en traductor, en uh -huh. Google, usted en la búsqueda de Google pone use window in a sentence y ahí le va a aparecer un montón de oraciones con esa palabra y ahí va a entender usted qué significa de acuerdo a otros contextos. ¿Verdad? Ah, no sí. necesariamente ir a buscar que me diga qué significa en español. Ya esa que sea la Ajá. última herramienta. ¿Verdad? Sí. Ok. Ah, muchas gracias. Con mucho gusto. Pero fíjese que yo, yo no me siento así, ¿verdad? digamos. Si lo, digamos, voy a terminar el stay porque yo le voy a echar ganas. Claro. Pero no me siento como que ya para un intermedio. Ah, pero en el intermedio regresa todavía eh, con vocabulario. Al principio lo único que es otro proceso. 
O sea, Ajá. Eh, siempre usted va a ver presente simple, porque siempre va a utilizar presente simple, solo que en un peldaño un poquito más arriba, ¿verdad? Pero siempre va a haber presente simple, uh -huh. siempre va a haber eh, pregunta, eh, respuesta, o sea, es cómo hacer preguntas con WH, ¿verdad? O directas. Eh, lo único que los contextos son diferentes, entonces lo único que le va a ir aumentando es el vocabulario, porque las estructuras gramaticales van a ser las mismas, ¿verdad? Entonces uh -huh. va a ir avanzando ya. Cuando vaya más arriba, entonces usted va a decir, hoy oh, sí, ya me siento, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita usted todavía eh, tal vez siente el vacío y le voy a decir quizás es eh, porque se perdió esas clases presencialmente. Pero en realidad, en realidad, yo la he escuchado a usted y que las arma, las arma, las oraciones. Entonces, la estructura la tiene. Lo que tiene que ir practicando es el vocabulario. Entonces, cada módulo es más vocabulario, más vocabulario, más vocabulario. Entonces, en eso tiene que trabajar, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted siga en el camino que va. No se detenga y no se atrase. Sigue en el camino que va y este, apóyese de todo el material, ¿verdad? A veces nosotros les damos links en donde usted puede ir a hacer esos ejercicios sí. y le ayuda aún, aún más. En, en el manual encuentra algunos links también para ir a escuchar algunas clases, eh, sí. para escuchar conversaciones. Entonces yo creo que va por el buen camino. O sea, ahorita no, no se detenga. Usted no se detenga, ni quiera bajarse. Al contrario, mejor es que, que yo sí, para allá, Yo sí quiero suba. aprender. Es que está aprendiendo. <risa> Está aprendiendo. Pero es que yo siento, es que yo siento de que a comparación, así que sí, con mis compañeros, a ellos se les, yo les, les, les veo aquello que, que ya pueden, que entonces yo, Pero al Y yo siento que sostener así como una conversación así, yo, me cuesta. Pero algunos han estudiado antes inglés. Ah, okay. sí, eso, eso sí también me dijeron también. Por ejemplo, don Vladimir dice que hizo 21 módulos no sé a dónde. Ve usted, Ajá. o sea que ellos han, han estudiado inglés antes. Entonces, no crea que eh, lo van a aprender mágicamente tampoco, ¿verdad? es práctica, esto es práctica. Entonces, sí, es práctica. Esos, esas tres semanas o esos, eh, sí, tres semanas que me dice usted, prácticamente le voy a decir que no es mucho, así que ahorita usted no hay que quitar esa, esa etiqueta de la mente y éntrele con sí. todo, patada ya de una vez, ¿verdad?, y lo que ya aprendió, repítalo, 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 y o, una y otra vez, una y otra vez, y así va a ir avanzando, ¿ok? Media vez usted afiance bien lo que ahorita conoce, ya va a ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Así que no, hay que quitar sí. el miedo, hay que quitar el nerviosismo, <risa> y usted mire, entrele, entrele. Uh -huh. no, no querramos correr antes de caminar, Sí. Ajá. yo le decía a uno de sus compañeros eh, nosotros los adultos al aprender otro idioma tenemos una barrera muy grande y es que como ya tenemos nuestro propio idioma tenemos símbolos acá verdad y tenemos eh, que no solo es que hablamos sino que queremos verlo escrito, queremos eh, saber cómo se dice tal cosa aunque primero eh, lo lógico para aprender un idioma es primero escucharlo pero nosotros no, nosotros lo primero queremos verlo, cómo se escribe y así no okay. funciona ¿verdad? no funciona uh -huh. aquí es mejor afinar el oído y decirlo afinar el oído y decirlo y le voy a explicar por qué fíjense que el orden natural por ejemplo un bebé ¿cómo aprendió usted el español? Cuando era bebé, le enseñaron leyendo. Escuchando. Ah, ¿verdad que sí? Entonces, el orden natural es escuchar primero. Pero nosotros lo queremos hacer al revés, por eso no nos funciona. Entonces, primero escuchar. ¿Y después qué hicimos? Después de escuchar, no podíamos hablar, ¿verdad? Después de escuchar, ¿qué tuvimos que hacer? Imitar al que nos estaba, lo que estábamos oyendo. Entonces, por ejemplo, la mamá se pone, mamá mamá, 
mamá, a mamá, no dice uno, bebé no puede hablar, igual debe ser, igual pasa aprendiendo el idioma, el otro idioma, ¿verdad? Entonces, que nos sí. equivocamos, que medio lo decimos, que no sabemos cómo se pronuncia, pero alguien me lo está diciendo como es, pues yo lo imito. Ah, yo le digo, what? Ah, usted no va a decir otra forma, va a decir what? Porque ya usted ya tiene hecha la boca, digamos, ¿verdad? Ya habla otra Ajá. lengua. Entonces, eh, el orden es escuchar, imitar. No es... Imitar escuchar y dígame qué significa. No, el orden es escuchar, imitar, aunque no sepa qué significa. Por ejemplo, usted al bebé le dice, ¿quiere agua? Aba, y le da el agua, no quiere eso. ¿Qué? No entendió que le iba a dar agua. Entonces, él quiere pacha, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y usted le dio agua. No, no entiende qué es agua, hasta que la prueba. Entonces, lo mismo nosotros, ¿verdad? No entendemos, pero lo decimos, ¿ya? Entonces, así es el orden natural, hay que aprender, uh -huh. como cuando éramos bebés, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y quitando el miedo, este es el miedo en él. Sí. Ajá, yo la animo, usted tiene buena actitud. Yo sí, muchas sentí. gracias. Uh -huh. Así sí. que sí. Sí, sí quiero aprender. También. Claro, usted va a aprender, como le digo, escuchando, imitando, escuchando, escuchando imitando. imitando. sí. Y luego, cuando fue a la escuela usted, vea que no de un solo la pusieron a leer, vea, vea que no. Primero le enseñaron no. que cómo suena la letra A, A, cantando, ¿verdad? Ahí viene la A, con sus dos patitas muy abiertas. <risa> a la Entonces dice uno, ah, pues como una A tiene patitas, no, nah, no, después nos enseñan las patitas de la A, pero hasta después nos las enseñan escritas. Primero aprendemos el sonido de la A. Después sí. vemos cómo es la A. Y así, igual, aquí, así tenemos que hacer. Y después, ya cuando va uniendo las letras, ahora sí, hasta después le dicen, vaya, hoy va a ser la plana. Hasta entonces va a escribir. No, nosotros no. Nosotros queremos, ah, primero quiero ver cómo se escribe, cómo se escribe, cómo se escribe. Ah, no, ¿verdad? Entonces estamos al revés, por eso no nos está funcionando. Tenemos que escuchar primero, imitar, después imitar. vamos a buscar cómo se escribe y después lo escribimos, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Sí. Así mero. Ánimo. Gracias. Ok. okay. Sí, muchas gracias. No problem, Imelda. It's my pleasure. All right. Then if you have no more questions, see you tomorrow. Okay? Sí. Hasta okay. mañana. Yes. See you tomorrow. Imitate. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See okay. you tomorrow. All right. Bye-bye. Have a All very right. good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye.